You guys, one of the things to do when you are in Wilderness is to come check out the map of Africa. It's this beautiful piece of land that through years of erosion has been carved out to look like the continent of Africa. And um, I'm going to try and send up the drone and see if we can get some nice shots. So the view of map of Africa is truly beautiful. It turned out to be a really lovely day. Um, there is a bit of a gravel road to get there, but it's a perfect road and my car did it with ease. So there's no problems there. Um, yeah, definitely worth coming out here. It's not that far. It's like 10, 12 minutes from the town of Wilderness. So um, put that on your bucket list for sure. So one of the things you have to do when you are in Wilderness is to go check out one of their incredible beaches. And South Africa is famous for its blue flag beaches. And just look at this beach behind me. This is the Wilderness main beach. And um, just look at this view. It's a beautiful beach here against the cliffs. And you have this green backdrop behind you. But just look at this incredible beach. There you have those beautiful boulders sticking out of the beach and these beaches go on for miles you can walk all the way to Sedgefield if I'm not mistaken and um, today is a beautiful day because it can get a bit misty here in Wilderness but yeah going to the beach on a beautiful day like this is definitely something you have to do when you are visiting Wilderness Hey guys, so I'm just outside of Wilderness in an area called uh, Hookville and I'm about to see what they call the big tree. Apparently it's an 800 year old tree. I'm not sure what tree it is, I'll probably find out now. Um, it's in the forest, there's a bit of a walk, so it's actually nice. There's actually a lot of hiking trails here. But there is now a big troop of baboons running through this place and I'm kind of cautious because they are scary. So wish me luck. Oh, it was uh, 23 Rand um, for South African residents. Um, I'm not sure what the international fees are, but there is a conservation fee of 23 Rand to pay when you enter. It's a nice walk through the forest. Um, and it's lovely because it's a nice day where the sun is shining, but because it's so overgrown, you are mostly in the shade. And I'm hearing the baboons around me. It's kind of freaky, but hopefully they'll leave me alone. So this is a yellow wood tree, which is cool. So some of these trees have these plaques on them to tell you the names of the trees. Um, oh, you can just smell the nature, really, that's, that's so nice. This here is like a little bright area. Um, I guess you can bring a picnic basket and have a bit of a picnic here. Kind of nice. I saw the baboons, but they're running away from me, so that's good news. So they are scared of humans they better be because um, I don't want to be kidnapped and then Netflix makes a documentary called Raised by Apes <sighs> I don't want to be the title of a Netflix documentary but um, yeah it's lovely it's a little bridge did you guys hear that like come on I'm not okay with that that sounds ridiculously scary oh this is pretty 
Last little river. Well, it's a stream. The sun is coming through the trees. Oh my word, look at this. And suddenly you're at this tree. This is what people come here for. Wow. Okay, so it is a yellow wood or Podocarpus falcatus. It's easy on the tongue. Um, it's a well known big tree of the Nisner forests. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's eight plus 800 years old. It's 33 meters high. And this is it. This is the tree. It barely fits in my camera lens. I do the wide angle on the lens then you can see it better but it is super high it's beautiful and they also have this little wooden deck that goes around it uh, someone told me it takes about 12 people to stand around it if you had to <sighs> the boons now imagine you're here at night and you hear that sound I mean come on okay I'm walking around the tree wow on this side it's really wide it looks like it almost feels like you're standing against a wall of some sort Yep, I'm getting out of here. Okay, I saw the tree, I'm done. You guys happy? I'm braving this literal wilderness for my videos. I mean, okay, I'm out of here. This was lovely, but I gotta go. Okay, before I go, they have these nice wooden decks as well. And they have these chairs or these benches where you can sit and chill while looking at the tree, the big tree. It's really nice, you guys. When you all in this, are in this area, it's uh, it's worth a drive out, and it's super cheap to get inside. And in there, they have more walking trails. So I was exploring the village and I came across this place called the Green Shed Coffee Roastery and they had me at Coffee Roastery so I'm going to go check them out and see what their coffee is like. So here's a place called Reed Treats and they have ice cream uh, waffle on a stick which sounds very interesting and I chose a cinnamon cone and vanilla soft serve and it looks delicious. Thank you. Guys, I just came across this trail while I was driving. I saw a sign that said uh, trail. So I parked my car and now I'm walking down. It's actually super nice. This is on the lake. They have these little benches here where you can sit and chill. So I guess this is the lake or the estuary, not really sure what they call it. But it's super nice. Let's go for a bit of a walk and see what this is like. the Hoopful Road there is this viewpoint Stand here. they have these tables and stuff we can sit and chill just look at this view 
So you're overlooking Voldenus. And like I said, this is the Hookful Road driving into Voldenus and it's beautiful. You guys, so another thing to come and check out in Voldenus is a place called Island Lake. Um, they have beautiful public camping spots and it's right on the river. So check this out. So they have these lovely facilities, really well maintained uh, facilities. Uh, green grass, bright facilities, they have these shaded areas with tables, they have public bathrooms as well, or here on the lake. And like I said, it's called Island Lake, and this is part of Wilderness National Park. And the piece of land over there is an island in the middle of the lake, so lovely, it's bird life. peaceful and then just next to it they also have a resort island lake resort i think it's called uh, it's well, sort of caravans. so if you're into camping if you're into um, spending a day outside this is a nice place to come and have a stop island lake you guys just down the road from the guest house is a place called Joplin's Steak Bar and I'm in the mood for steak so let's go check them out. So just down the road from Treedom is a place called Timberlake Village and they have these cute little shops and stuff so let's go check it out. So tonight for supper, I'm going to try a restaurant called The Girls. So um, yeah, let's go check it out. It was a quick drive from the guest house, so for good things. You guys, so this sounds delicious. I'm going to have the grilled chicken breast with roasted butternut, feta, macadamia nuts, dates, peppered use coriander leaves. It's served with an apricot mustard sauce, mustard seed, veggies, and couscous. And for a drink, I'm having the Blutlamoon Amber Gin and Tonic. <laughs> 